so these are the type of computer viruses the first one would be the trojan horse trojan horse is mostly famous from the troy which are in the greek uh, i'll just go ahead and show you out something so i'll just open my google and i'll show you trojan horse as to why it is the name trojan horse so as you can see that the trojan horse is a tale from the greek war about uh, the sort of uh, sort of huge for that the greeks used to enter the city of troy and win the war so what they did exactly was that they created um, uh, the Greeks were about to lose the war when they entered the city of Troy. So they created these um, this uh, huge uh, like around 10 or 15 meters or even more than it. I don't know exactly. They created this uh, huge uh, uh, t horse type of uh, statue and it um, in the uh, at the time of Greeks, they thought the people of Troy thought that, that this is a message of uh, God, or something like that, because they used to believe uh, horse as some kind of uh, God. So they brought this into the city, and what they came to know later was that inside all of this, when they tried um, in the night, when they did not know anything, there were a special door over here, somewhere over here, and the people there were people inside of this horse, and when everyone was sleeping in Troy. They directly came out and they hunted each and everyone down and then they captured the whole city. So a Trojan horse is just uh, something like it sees something different to make that lures you out but it is something different and it is something malicious. So that's how it works. So uh, to be more precise I would say something like Trojan horses appear as an interesting program file uh, technically speaking but when installed it allows intruders to access and read your files. That's what it can do. So, and we would be learning Trojan Horse uh, today by the end of this session. And after that, we have worms. Worms are just viruses that copies and multiplies itself uh, by using computer networks and security flaws. So, worms is typically from the normal uh, worm that we have, uh, means a normal living worm. It just keeps on multiplying itself and does nothing else. So, and just uh, discriminates, uh, discriminates the uh, our you can say as our surroundings so that's what these worms do but they do in the technical world and after that we have email viruses which are one of the, the most dangerous and they are the most used in corporate espionage email vi messages are used to spread which uh, allow it to automatically forward itself to thousands of people so they spread themselves automatically we have then later on boot sector virus boot sector virus infects the boot of the MVR of diskettes and hard drives and when i say mbr of diskettes that mean whenever the it uh, whenever your computer starts the, all the boot files are infected and um, they also go ahead and share each and every uh, they also go ahead and infect each and every drives that are there through sharing and they are later than infected and pirate software applications are also um, famous for having them included so whenever you download anything from torrent or kickass you need to make sure that you don't have any of these uh, files with you and once your hard disk is infected, all your disks will be that used in your computer will be infected. So either uh, the boot sector virus may uh, infect or kill all of your sources or it may go ahead and send all of these to someone else you don't even know where it is being sent to. So and uh, next we have is uh, program virus. Pro uh, program virus is a specific kind of virus. It becomes active when the program file, uh, usually the extension something like period bin or period com that's dot com dot bin dot exe files are executed they carry the viruses but the, it does not uh, affect itself the person who has this um, specific file in the pc they need to go ahead and activate that and then it starts and then the program starts uh, program activates and it starts making copies of itself and then it will infect other programs on the computer and we have then the multi party virus it is quite quite a dangerous virus and it is a hybrid of a boot sector and program viruses it infects uh, you can say as program files and when the infected program is active it will infect the boot record as well so if you think that these are dangerous viruses these are not it there have been still more dangerous viruses far more dangerous than these and i will be teaching you that as well and these are the most dangerous viruses of all types the stealth virus, the polymorphic and the macro. Not of these three, the stealth and the polymorphic are the most dangerous viruses after macro. The macro viruses are programmed as a macro 
embedded in document and they're usually found in open office or not even open office mostly it is found in microsoft word and excel and once it gets to your computer every document you produce will become infected and relatively new type of virus and it may slip by your antivirus because macrovirus is the latest in the city and uh, uh, you, you don't even know uh, what exactly it is so if you don't have the most recent version installed of your antivirus your antivirus may not even detect this kind of virus that's the reason then we have stealth viruses stealth viruses disguise itself to prevent from being detected by another antivirus it alters its file size or conceals itself in memory if that is not dangerous enough then if you go ahead and provide another uh, dangerous virus along with that such as macro virus or multi-party virus it may even go ahead and alter the memory of that specific virus so it will keep itself and the other virus in the stealth mode and then it will attack your computer so you won't even know whether your computer is your computer won't even run slow it will be in the normal process normal speed but later point of time it will all of a sudden st stop working so that's how it will work and the most dangerous of all, uh, of all would be the polymorphic virus Polymorphic virus acts as a chameleon. It uh, changes its virus signature, binary pattern, every time it multiplies and affects a new file. So in short, let me just show you a diagram. There was a famous diagram on the internet that I was looking some days back. So just let me check if my net is on. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let me check if... Uh, there was a very famous diagram as to what it used to do exactly. Okay, I don't think I had it over here. Okay, so I don't have it exactly over here. Uh, but what it used to do uh, properly was that creates a virus and then uh, uh, if you don't know how exactly antivirus work, you may not even uh, be able to know this exactly. It creates a virus and then it goes ahead and change its, changes its binary signature and any antivirus detects a, a virus through its binary signature. So it creates multiple viruses and every other virus has different binary signature. So it becomes hard for the antivirus to detect and uh, you need to have two or three antivirus to scan all of your computer because not all, just one antivirus is not sufficient enough to catch this kind of virus. That's the reason. So it is one of the most dangerous, it keeps on multiplying, it keeps on changing its score, source code so the antivirus may not even be able to detect. So these are the few examples of different types of viruses. In the next tutorial, I'll take you through the different viruses that have affected us till age.